aspiring actuaries welcome back to my channel the actuarial quest i am anchal your actuarial mentor and in today's video i am going to share five important tips that you can follow during your exam that will increase your probability of passing by multiple times so without taking any time further let's discuss these tips First and foremost tip is to make sure that you attempt the entire paper and certainly not miss on some marks just because of time crunch. Apart from testing your knowledge, one thing that actuarial exams also test is your time management skill. So you must keep track of the timer since the start of the exam. If the exam is of 3 hours, then my rule used to be to spend 1.8 minutes on each one mark. So if a question is of 5 marks then I would spend not more than 9 minutes on that question and in this way I used to balance my time since the start of the exam of course some questions will be more difficult or may take longer to read while others might be straightforward and short hence you can save time on the easy and straightforward questions to compensate for the extra time spent on the more difficult ones but the idea is to keep tracking your time since the very first question itself and in this way you will definitely make it to the last question what some students usually do is that they spend a lot of time to attempt the first few questions they are very careful of the sentence formation they start with a very carefully written opening lines to the answer and put in too much detail that are not even expected and because of that they find themselves under time pressure during the later questions so unfortunately they are not able to complete the entire paper so to summarize my first tip track every minute during the exam second tip is relevant to the online exam format and will help you with time management as you know iai and ifoa exams are being conducted online due to the pandemic but the exam conditions of both the institutes are very different ifoa exams are open book and this fact becomes a blessing if you use the correct technique open book exam give you the advantage of referring to your notes or study material any time during your exam so there's no need to memorize or cram anything the tip here is to organize your notes in such a way that in the exam whatever question or topic comes up you are able to open up the relevant study material or notes in just 6 seconds Open book exam is an advantage only if you know exactly where in your notes or study material that relevant topic is and that is possible only if you have organized your notes well and if you are well versed with your notes and to become well versed with your notes you must have revised it quite a few times otherwise you will just end up wasting time in searching through your notes and you will never be able to complete your exam on time i'll give you examples of few things that i used to do that helped me to refer to my notes quickly during the exam one of them is an obvious thing to do so for topics which have too many pointers to cram i used to create an excel file where i could summarize all such topics so that i can use control f to search anything during the exam the main catch here is that it is important to use short sentences and points in the excel so that you don't waste time in reading and filtering through the information remember all these points are just for your quick reference you should not write whole long sentences for detailed information all the details should already be there in your head while the excel should contain only the pointers that you cannot remember you can also obviously extend this excel to summarize some formulas or to draft some ideas that you think are mostly tested during the exam another thing that personally helped me a lot is that in my study material book first of all i had bookmarked all the important topics and within those topics i had underlined or highlighted all the important sentences and points so that in exam i know exactly which sentences to refer to frame my answer also wherever in the study material some concept or process is explained just on the side of it wherever i could find space i used to write my own summary of the concept or process in my own brief words using pointers arrows or some signs or symbols to summarize the complex process in very easy words so that during exam i don't have to go through the complex core reading instead i can refer to my own summary which is exactly in the words that my mind can easily process within seconds similarly you can also create your simple to understand notes that you can refer to during your exam also just saying all these ideas that i'm sharing might seem obvious to you 
but trust me all these obvious ideas are actually going to help you pass your exam one thing to be careful about is that ifoa examiners are very strict with plagiarism so never copy and paste anything into your answers not even from your notes copying and pasting is simply not allowed and if detected can lead to serious problems so yes avoid that now speaking about iai exams the institute doesn't allow open book and their portal is strict so once you launch their portal all other applications in your system get blocked so it becomes like a usual center based exam only so if you're taking exam from iai then you will have to memorize a lot of points and formulas some techniques that help in memorizing are acronyms mnemonics and mind mapping techniques so while preparing for your exams use such techniques because if you ratify too much information then obviously you are going to forget half of it during the exam another very important thing that will help you complete your exam on time is to do lots and lots of typing practice practicing to type your answers that to within time conditions is equally important as studying for your exams studying the whole syllabus and preparing your notes is just 50% preparation the rest 50% preparation comes from practicing lots and lots of question under exam conditions and this is the area where maximum students do not give their 100% they think that if they have studied the syllabus and the past papers then they will definitely be able to attempt the questions in the exam but it is during the exam that they realize how under prepared they are because they are not practiced to type the answers in the exam condition so yes that is an important practice area tip number 3 is on the approach to attempting the questions first of all read the question carefully and see what it is asking and what topic or topics it is based on then in rocket speed open the relevant study material or notes if it's the ifoa exam or list down the important points acronyms or formulas if it's the iai exam and then apply your logical mind to frame the answer according to what has been asked in the question using your notes as a reference you might need to filter out some ideas in order to make your answer appear relevant to the situation pointed out in the question and to gain higher marks you should tailor your answer or customize your answer as per the question and give suitable examples also while framing answers to theory based questions it might happen that you sometimes run out of ideas so in order to broaden your range of ideas try thinking about different stakeholders like the company policy holders the government the regulators the competitors and any other thing that you can think about that is relevant to the question also try picking some words from the question and try expanding on all those areas one by one tip number 4 is on how much to write and very simple tip jitna pucha jaye utna hi likho just write to the point and crisp answer and avoid including unnecessary words just to increase the length of your answer because that's not going to gain you marks the marks allocated to each question and the question keyword as in explain justify list comment analyze describe would actually define how much you need to write in each answer if it's a 10 mark describe question then you have to give 10 different ideas along with good explanation also mentioning the relevant situation in the question if it's a 10 mark list question then you need to mention 20 different ideas with no or a brief explanation the last tip is on the approach to follow if you don't know the answer to a question and the tip is even if you don't know the answer just attempt it never leave any question because it's a difficult question many students just like you might not know the answer to the question and the exam center has kept this question to test the best candidates so if you skip that question you lose out on straight marks but if you go ahead and give it a try then you might gain a little and this little might be just enough to give you a pass try to read the question carefully and break it down into simple parts underline the keywords in the question and try to identify what topics it is trying to test then just write things related to that topic and apply them as per the question try to write the best answer according to you given the time pressure given the notes that you have in your hand and the situation in the question follow the same 1.8 minute per mark rule so if it's a 5 mark question then you have 9 minutes for it and out of these 9 minutes you are free to use 2 to 3 minutes to give a good thought to the question because this is one of those questions that are framed to require a good thought process also don't spend too much time on that question that it eats up the time of the other questions for for which you know the answer 
just write something while also keeping an eye on the timer and then quickly move ahead to the next questions. All right, those were all the exam tips that I wanted to share with you in today's video. Some of the tips that I mentioned might be more relevant to the theory based subjects. For practical subjects, I would say practice is the key to pass the exams. Also, I came across a guide video shared by Acted and that video contains the basic tips on the open book exams. I would recommend you to watch that video if you are attempting the online IFOA exam for the first time. You can check the link in the description. Also, in the description, you will find another link to a presentation shared by the IFOA and that presentation includes very good exam preparation tips that are also going to be helpful if you are attempting the IAI exam. I really hope that all the tips that I shared today uh, are going to help you pass your exam because all these tips are exactly the ones that I personally applied in my during my exams and you can see the results. Do like and comment if you found today's video helpful. Also subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos. Signing off for now, we'll be back soon.